Look at those cows coming up. They're thinking I'm gonna feed them. Anyways, I'm actually not gonna be talking about the cows today. What I'm gonna be talking about is fence like this. You see, this fence right here, rotten out completely and it broke off. You see this, completely broke off piece. And it's just hanging on the other pieces of the fence. So we need to completely replace this piece of wood. Even though it looks really nice over here, but because on the bottom with the dirt, the moisture and all the dirt, it's completely let out and broke apart. So I was wondering, what is the easiest way to fix? I have so much fence and a lot of them are like that. And I was like, wow, I would have to replace so many posts on this fence. It will take me forever. So I was looking online, what is the easiest way to fix it? And I come across these little gadgets. I'm going to put them to the test and see how they work. Boom. I'm pretty sure each piece about $7. This whole piece is going to be 7 bucks anyways as well. So instead of replacing it and actually take off each piece, it's going to take me forever to do so. What I'm going to do is actually drive this thing inside over here and screw it all together hopefully it will actually work let's find out if it does or doesn't okay let me show you how it's done what you do is fix the, this post 90 degrees you see how it's halfway leaning what you want to do is make sure it's straight and then what i'm gonna do is grab a hammer and bend it down If I let go, you see now it's standing normally because it's leaning on this little piece. The metal piece. Now I'm going to get a bunch of screws and screw it together. So, as you can see, it's a lot easier than me removing all this stuff, removing the metal fence wire, and then replacing this whole piece, digging out a hole, replacing a new uh, piece, you know what time is money. This little piece cost pretty much as much or maybe even a little bit cheaper than one of these post brand new. So you be the judge. Is it worth it? So next what I'm gonna do is put a bunch of net nails into it. I mean screws. So next thing what I would do to pack the dirt inside there is dive in this wooden wedge. I would cut up a whole bunch of wedges from 2x4 and then we're going to drive it in all the way down like that to pack all the dirt. And now it is much much tighter. Maybe another wedge on the other side. Something to pack all the dirt. Maybe you can even bring the dirt packer, put extra dirt in the here and pack it really, really nicely. So it completely rotted out on the dirt level and it broke off in half and it's just hanging. So that's what this gadget is for, for rotten posts like that. So let me show you the close-up of me fixing this. By the way, I have so many posts like that. This post, fence post are pretty old. I know how many years, but I'm pretty sure it's many, many years old. So once again, right here, you see, it tells you you can put it on both sides. It tells you the instruction, but you just bend right here. It takes a little bit of work, but this is why you don't need gym. You just come here, fix your fence, cut firewood, get some muscle boom and that's how deep you want to go about now I'm gonna get a bunch of screws and screw it all together yeah that's why it jumped because this screw is a little bit too thick I'm just too lazy to get, go get the other ones this ones will do You want to screw them pretty tight so it actually stays straight, not leaning again. Ah! 
There you go. Okay. Wow, this one is really steady. Much, much steadier. Again, you can just pack the dirt, add on some more dirt into it, and really pack it really nicely. Because as you can see, there's very, very loose dirt. I might get some kind of dirt compactor and actually put some more dirt and really make it tough so that way it doesn't shake. But look at that. It's amazing. If I put another one of these on the other side, this metal is not going to rot like the wood does. It's going to stay there forever, a lot longer than wood. Here's another good example. You see it's all broke off this fence. And this is what I'm talking about. It completely rotted out and fell apart. So what I'm gonna do, instead of changing the whole piece, I'm gonna lift it up with the car, pull it up or something, and then I'm gonna drive in that metal piece once again, just like I did with the other ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one broke down as well on the bottom right there. So I would lift it up, drive it in right here, and put some wedges in here, this wedges, and it's gonna be all fixed. But right now it's all rainy, so I might come back later. This side here is perfect example why I need this gut. You see how much it broke off? All I have to do is lean it like this and drive in this little piece. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Looks like it's getting really rainy, kind of getting cold. Hopefully it will help somebody. I'm sure a lot of you have fans that is rusting out and rotting out and falling down. So that's what you can do to fix it real quick. And it's gonna last a long time. Let me know in comments below what do you think. Thumbs up this video and I'll see you next time.